So every week this drags out is another uh, week's worth of uh, slaughter waste dumped mm -hmm. in our uh, community. It's a sight and smell residents in Vancouver Island's Cobble Hill say they have become all too familiar with. Dump truck after dump truck unloading chicken on trails onto a local farm. Three years this has been going on and we see no changes. So the main pile was over here. Andy Stewart was among the first to report it to the Ministry of Environment in January 2020. That prompted a trip from inspectors who quickly noticed the whole operation was illegal. Farmers cannot bury animals on their land unless they're produced on the land. So they can't take, you know, dead animals or slaughter waste from another site and bring it onto their land without being registered with the Ministry of Environment. Inspectors also found waste piles were uncovered, attracting birds and wildlife. Waste was also running off into local waterways. The farmer, Gordon Truswell, was issued warnings and repeatedly told to stop over two years before being fined $22,000 last November. That's when he moved the operation to a second site just down the road. Residents were shocked. That's about all that the Ministry of Environment has achieved. They, they haven't slowed it down, they haven't stopped it, they've just moved it. This site was inspected in February and more fines have been recommended. The company who is paying Trustwell to dispose of the waste, Island Farmhouse Poultry, was also inspected and told to stop or risk up to $1 million in fines for dumping into the environment. Both sites are in an aquifer recharge area and an already vulnerable watershed. With slaughter waste, you've got the risk of leachates getting into your water supply down into the ground or the streams and really the the cumulative effects um, on the fish and wildlife populations and our human it's really starting to bite us residents here want to see a stop work order cbc news asked the ministry if it would issue one it said it's working with the farmer towards a resolution and even with that we're not confident that it won't uh, re-emerge in our community Trustwell declined an interview but said he's appealing the fines and applying to run a legitimate waste facility. The poultry farm said it's working with the province and is considering new contractors. John Hernandez, CBC News, Cobble Hill.